So how do veterans and Vietnamese overcome the wounds of war? I spoke with Dr. Thomas Berger. He's a Vietnam veteran and currently serves with the Vietnam Veterans of America. Dr. Berger spoke to me about the stigma surrounding PTSD and the misconceptions veterans are still struggling to dispel. Because war changes people, the general public who's not familiar uh, who, or who hasn't taken the time to understand PTSD just thinks we're all mental cases, th th thinks we're nuts. Uh, when in fact, um, education, particularly in the public sector, will help bridge that gap between the veteran and the average citizen who really doesn't understand PTSD. Dr. Berger, a large number of the homeless population in the U.S. are Vietnam vets. How do they even get to this point? That's just outrageous. Uh, but some of that is because help wasn't available 40 years ago. And so they used and developed strategies for living on the street. They developed strategies uh, based on what they'd learned while they were in the service. Uh, and 40 years later, it's hard to turn off those kinds of things. In fact, it may even be easier for some of those folks to live on the street than it is to join our world. What are some of the resources available to Vietnam vets? And do you think that has been sufficient enough through the years? No, I don't think the resources have been sufficient. On the other hand, there have been some real good uh, efforts. I think the VA is trying uh, hard to, um, to cope with, with homeless veterans. I think there are communities around the country that have made a real effort to reach out um, to homeless veterans in particular using uh, not only a combination of housing um, opportunities but also mental health treatment from community uh, behavioral health centers. Um, I think there's an effort uh, by some of the faith-based communities uh, to reach out. So there, there is progress, but the fact of the matter is it's how do you reach? How do you reach these people who have been homeless for 40 years, who developed these skills and talents really for living on the street? And also, is there a reality here that some of them do not want to be helped? That's absolutely correct. Um, and there's a lot of reasons behind that. They left a very structured environment when they, when they got out, when they separated from the service, um, and didn't find that uh, when they came back. And as you're probably well aware, uh, the country was not in the same mood towards its veterans that they are now, or that the country is now. Um, a lot of Vietnam veterans um, went into the closet, so to speak, in the sense that they wouldn't admit they were Vietnam veterans. Uh, because of the stigma associated with being a Vietnam veteran. And uh, Dr. Berger, this war, Vietnam War, had a staggering impact as far as casualties on Americans, but also on Vietnamese. So the emotional trauma for Vietnamese was also very much there, wasn't it? Certainly, certainly. We have um, a program that is, um, Vietnam Veterans of America has a program uh, called the Veterans Initiative with our colleagues in uh, Vietnam. Now, the Veterans Initiative itself is focused on uh, locating sites where we lost people and they lost people. We exchange information. But the fact of the matter is that the folks who participate, the Americans who focus uh, or participate uh, in the Veterans Initiative program, frequently have returned from Vietnam with stories about having talked to their veterans, saying, you know, we wish we had, you know, the the opportunity, uh, opportunities to treat our uh, PTSD.